Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Anaspasi of Advanced Bone and Joint. I've had a sports medicine practice for over 25 years, and I like to discuss the ACL ligament. This is not meant to be completely all-inclusive. This is more of an informational discussion about ACL tears and how I treat them in a very brief and succinct manner. The ACL here, the anterior cruciate ligament, helps maintain the tibia from anterior subluxation. It's normally torn in a non-contact type of environment. Soccer players, football players coming down on their leg and cutting. It can also have a higher incidence in female athletes based upon how they land and there are preventative techniques and exercises that are given to athletes for that. Not a scope of this discussion. However, when you do have a torn ACL, why do you repair them? Why not? The ACL again with the PCL are primary restraints to anterior and posterior subluxation of the tibia. The menisci, both medial and lateral, are secondary restraints. And then finally we have additional secondary restraints, the medial collateral ligament and the lateral collateral ligament. Once the primary restraint is torn, the secondary restraints take on a much more important mission that they're not meant to do. So there's a higher incidence of those being injured if you continue to have a very active lifestyle, playing sports, or being very active with everyday activities. So, you've torn your ACL. What do you do? You come to visit the office. There'll be blood in the joint. We'll take that blood out. We'll obtain an MRI. We'll make sure there's no secondary issues such as cartilage damage on the femur or on the tibia or if there's any other tears such as the menisci or in the collateral ligaments. Starts you on a non-operative rehab ACL protocol which will allow us to get motion back and to let you realize that you do have instability to your knee. Once you have gotten appropriate motion and proprioception back to the knee, we can reconstruct. Newer techniques have allowed us to do ACL reconstructions back when we started, which were much more invasive, to doing what's called an all-inside ACL reconstruction, which I like to use the hamstring tendon. The hamstring tendon is harvested from the patient and is utilized as the new ACL graft and secured with small grommets both on the tibia and on the femur. So now you've passed the ACL non-operative rehab protocol and it's time for surgery. This is done as an outpatient. You can use either an allograft or an autograft. The autograft is your own tendon and recommendations by the Academy of Orthopedic Surgery is to use your own tendon if at all possible, especially in ages of 30 and younger because there's a higher retear rate when you use allograft. Allograft is a cadaver ligament that could be done on a lower demand, older patient, much less morbidity, and allows them to go back playing recreational sports. The reason for the ACL reconstruction, we want to believe, was to decrease arthritis because of untoward instability of the knee. However, many times after you've torn the ACL, you'll have damage to the tibia or the femur already as evidenced by bone bruise on MRIs. This may have set the time set up for you to develop arthritis when you get older, whether or not you reconstruct or not. That remains to be seen. However, it will give you a stable knee and allow you to return to sporting activities without instability episodes. The ACL autograft using the hamstring is brought through small drill holes in an all inside technique through the tibia and into the femur and secured. The ACL reconstruction with the all inside technique has just refined previous ACL techniques, but overall this operation has had thousands of results with, has had thousands of procedures with good results. For the sake of brevity, we fast forward essentially to show you what the ACL reconstruction will look like using an all inside technique with a hamstring autograft. This is the hamstring tendon. It is secured with these two small grommets both on the tibia and on the femur, restoring the strut which was the ACL to help decrease cruciate ligament instability such as ACL laxity. Your ACL has been reconstructed. 
This is a long-term rehab. We do not let you go back to any type of running activity until four months, no cutting activity until six months, and then sports-specific exercises after that with return to contact athletics nine to 12 months. So we have to realize this is a season off for rehab. You can go back sooner, you can accelerate your rehab program, however, it will not improve your long-term results. That's important to realize, despite the fact that you may want to return back sooner. The ACL is done as an outpatient procedure. You will have approximately two weeks in a long brace, sometimes longer, up to six weeks, depending on if there's concomitant meniscus surgery that's performed. Driving a vehicle may take up to six weeks. Again, it takes the biology of the graft to secure itself to the tunnels, to the tunnels, approximately two months. And that the graft itself will slowly become more like an ACL, but it is still a hamstring tendon over years with biopsies that we've done. There's a realignment of the collagen fibers, but it is quite sturdy and is as strong as the nascent ACL.